Let me tell you about Little Jack Carver. Probably one of my favorite animatronics sold for the 2023 Spirit Hollow Cemetery. He's a really cool character. I like that he's this sort of zombie scarecrow creature. His face is probably the best thing about it. It's covered in these horrible bloody rashes. His mouth is cut open in this sort of cheek-to-cheek -cheek smile, sort of like Jeff the Killer or the Joker. He looks really crazy. Obviously, you don't see this right away because he's got a pumpkin in front of his face. But when he lifts the pumpkin, you see this horrible, grotesque face. It delivers probably one of the best jump scares I've seen in a while. It was always Jack be nimble or Jack be quick. The orphaned farm boy was sick and tired of being bossed around by his foster family. With only the moon to guide him, he snuck out into the pumpkin patch one night to smash their prize gourd as payback. Unfortunately, he only got as far as the first coyote trap. Not so nimble or quick after all. Now Pumpkin Boy crouches in wait, hidden in the patch's overgrown vines, holding tightly to his demonic jack-o'-lantern, and waiting for the next unfortunate pumpkin picker to cross his path. Human bones make the best fertilizer. Let Jack always be a reminder not to wander into the pumpkin patch late at night. <laughs> <laughs> it's with lore and stories like this that make me wish Spirit Halloween created a different movie than what they finally came out with. A movie that takes us directly into the world of Spirit Halloween, where we get to meet and connect with all these different characters and monsters respectively. But with that being said, the little Jack Carver animatronic was created by Crazy Crate and is exclusively available at Spirit Halloween. It is part of the 2023 Spirit Hollows Cemetery in-store experience, or theme if it were. Little Jack Carver was sold for $169.99, so pretty pricey for what is essentially a simple jump scare prop. Once more, I do have to give props to Spirit for creating such a crazy and creepy character. His piercing white eyes, his sunken in eye sockets, his bloody rashes, the Jeff the Killer like smile that's carved into his face cheek to cheek. He just looks like an all-around creepy and disturbed character. I like also how they connected him with the Jack and the Candlestick uh, story, the nursery rhyme, whatever you want to call it. It definitely adds a whole another layer of creepiness to the character, sort of like it's a Jack and the Candlestick story brought to life in a sort of creepy horror movie scenario. But with that being said, this pretty much wraps up our look at the Little Jack Carver animatronic. Hope you guys enjoyed, happy haunts, and I'll see you in the next spooky video.